If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Let's talk about this NBA Youngboy situation that happened a couple of hours ago and it was caused by a post from him and since then people have been actively talking about this and people want to see some changes and this is also, uh, you know, something that I've talked about on this channel before and made individual videos about because this is a very important topic for young artists especially so uh you know let's talk about this see what he said and how we can you know learn from his situation what he's going through so you got to understand the whole situation with nba young boy and his problem with atlantic records with his record label because this does go back quite a bit he's never really been happy with the contract he signed i think at the time that he signed it he was 17 so this man was mad young back when he was put on and all these problems have been made public i think I think ever since like 2020 for example this one very important incident that i've also covered on this channel back when that happened happened in the summer of 2020 i think that it was when he took to instagram to post i said they can have the next four albums free all i want is my masters and it still got told no dirty game so in this situation obviously this happened in the past but i just want to give you all some background and context for this he said that he even offered them to keep all the profit from the next four albums that he puts out under his contract but they gotta you know give him his masters so his rights to his own music that he can then have for the rest of his life collect mechanical or performance royalties off of you know for the rest of his life because obviously that is a very big source of income and a very big you know security for for a lot of artists and just in terms of intellectual property for artists it's very important to own their own art obviously um so this happened so you know the the relationship has always been very tense and there was never really a good good communication and good relationship between them but it just got made worse when he and this is the news that i want to talk about uh when he took to his uh, youtube community post to post another statement now the context for this is that he released his new mix tape colors which uh, you got to check out you know young boy just just got out of prison and he's back releasing these you know crazy mixtapes and all that his work ethic is insane but uh the the background behind this is this new mixtape colors that's obviously doing very well he was supposed to go number one uh twice two weeks in a row now and this is also what he addresses in this new post so let's just look at it so in here he says I was going number one two weeks straight with a mixtape, so they took it down off the charts. I don't give a F, you still can't stop me. Don't sign to Atlantic if you're an artist, they not gonna support you, especially if you live a certain way. Signed, Top. And he also, you know, commented the whole thing, why blackball me? I'm the good guy. So in this scenario, he is accusing Atlantic Records of blackballing him off of the charts. You know, they're not submitting his mixtape or not, you know, just releasing all the numbers, all the sales for his new mixtape colors to to Billboard, to anyone who does charts. Um, and that's why that's the reason he's not on the charts. This is, of course, a very serious accusation, but with the whole background of him and his label really not having the best relationship i think that this is could actually be true and also looking at the numbers he's doing with this new record and also the music videos and all that it's just insane i want to point out though that i like that he took to youtube to communicate all this because obviously that is still an outlet that he has access to and he could just like compose like a little community post real quick um so i do like that at least artists nowadays through social media have some sort of you know freedom of speech to really communicate to their fans what's going on and in this case also drop some game as to whether or not you should sign to Atlantic Records and according to Youngboy you really shouldn't because they're not going to support you so obviously you know very serious situation I don't think the relationship between him and his label is going to get a lot better after this <laughs> obviously but uh, he only got I'm, no, I'm not entirely sure about it but I think like two records left two albums left under this under his contract if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments down below some of y'all know more about this uh this specifically um but after that he's out of his contract and can do whatever he wants but still the problem with his masters is still there and it would really benefit him if he owned his masters the funny thing is since then people have also started you know petitions to give him all his masters there's one that i saw that immediately popped up right when uh, you know he posted that thing and people are there so to support him you know it's crazy that this dude at 22 years old has one of the strongest fan bases 
there is out there in hip-hop and you're gonna notice that anywhere you even notice that in like my discord by the way go, go join the discord links in the description best hip-hop community on this planet the people who support young boy who are like really young boy stands they're quick to defend him and just say that he's the best of all time and why be better and, uh, and all that I, I, I had to see it all the time uh, you know this is not the only problem that young boy has to deal with right now he also has to deal with the SWAT raid of his Texas home while he was not even there when it happened so he has to deal with this and the consequences of this as well so right now it's just it seems like a pretty messy situation and you know just state he's in right now having these problems with his label blackballing him not giving him his masters even though it's not proven that he's being blackballed but look at the numbers look at the streams the sales the views and then kind of like you know just gauge in how far you would make it on the charts and i think that young boy at least will make it you know there if if not number one then at least some place uh, on there as well but he's not on there at all and that is pretty suspicious and that can go back to atlantic records not putting out all the numbers not submitting his music for that um maybe they don't have an interest in that because he's about to get out of his deal and they just don't want to push him that much anymore they just want to you know grab the cash I don't know what the exact intentions and reasons behind this are, but it seems like a fact that, you know, Youngboy has been played by Atlantic Records quite a bit in the past already, and this doesn't seem to be stopping any time soon, and also this man has to deal with some private stuff like the SWAT raid just on his house, so, yeah, this man is going through, it's going through a lot, but I think this, you know, just shows that for young artists, don't sign stupid record label deals just because it has like a $3 million advance to it, because that's what, you know, young young boy did and a lot of artists do in the case of young boy he was able to build a fan base and have some you know sustainable success after that i believe that young boy is also going to be successful after he gets out of his atlantic records deal in fact he's going to be more successful because then he doesn't have any middleman that can stunt his you know growth as an artist um and also just own your masters that is something that like people have been preaching for the longest time listen to jay-z in 2017 444 this man was preaching this all the time own your masters that is the number one you know thing in the game nowadays and something that you should look out for on any record label contract is owning your masters because then you own your own art you own your own work and you collect all the royalties on this be it mechanical or performance royalties and you can just you know do whatever you want with it and you don't have anyone there trying to limit your growth or trying to you know put ceilings on your potential so yeah that's my thoughts on this, on this whole young boy situation with the masters, with the blackballing and all that. But now I want to know what you think about this. What do you think of the situation by him, of him being blackballed? Do you think this is actually true? Do you think he's actually being left off of the charts by, you know, intention from uh, Atlantic Records? Also, what do you think about the whole relationship with him and his label? And how important do you think it is for young artists not to sign a stupid record label deal where, you know, they just look at the advance and then just don't own their own masters? So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my Discord in the description. Until the next one, I'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.